too often we're the ones who do the work, when it should be our computers doing it for us. I want to show you how to take the effort out of things and make your computer do the work for you. I'm going to show you a piece of software called Keyboard Maestro. And until the end of August 2010, you can get a discount on it. Wait till the end of this video to see how. I've downloaded and installed Keyboard Maestro. I started it up and here's the window that I see. The window has several sections, groups, macros and the detail of a particular macro that I've selected. A macro is a series of actions that do things. Keyboard Maestro lets you set up these macros. You can have quite long sequences of actions if you want to. I'm just going to start with a very short one. What I need to do is to click the plus sign below the macros column. That creates a new untitled macro. I've had trouble typing the words Keyboard Maestro. I find them very hard to type correctly. So I'm going to create a macro that does it for me. I'm going to give it a name that makes sense for me. Oh, you see, I still can't do it. Keyboard Maestro. And now I need to select a trigger. There are quite a lot of triggers available. I'm going to choose a typed string trigger. And what I want to type is star MT. And what Keyboard Maestro will do is simulate three deletes before it carries out this macro. In other words, it will delete the T, the M, and the star. I need to scroll down a little bit and now pick an action. I click on the green plus sign for New Action. And that brings up a list of actions here in this middle column. You can filter them out in various ways over here. But I happen to know that the action I want is the insert text action and because I used it recently it's still selected. I need to double click that one which moves it over here. Now I can make some choices. I want to insert text by typing and here I just need to put what I want it to type for me. And obviously you need to be very careful here to actually put the correct thing in. Now I'm done. I'll click the edit button. That takes away the list of actions and makes the macro itself available to me. I'm going to come to my text edit document and activate that. And I said the trigger would be star MT. I can immediately see that I've made a mistake. I've got two macros both with star MT. This one should of course have had been star KM. I'll come back to it, click the edit button and change that. K star KM, edit and come back to my text editor. Now I'm going to type star KM and immediately I see keyboard maestro. I'll just select all and delete that shows you how to insert a very small amount of text, but you can insert quite large amounts. Let me show you this macro here. I have a lorem ipsum macro. I just need to type star lips. So watch what happens when I do that. Star lips. And as you can see, that's typing a huge amount of text on my behalf. This is just the merest tiniest little fraction of what Keyboard Maestro can do for you. Stay tuned for more tips for what you can do with Keyboard Maestro. And to get that discount if you're watching this before the end of August 2010, head on over to my website and read the tip there to find the coupon code. Join us again next time for more Keyboard Maestro tips.